Hey, it's Fantasy Friday, and I'm Jason. Travis, and this is QBs on Wheels. Travis, lots of quarterback action. We're uh, actually, in this case, in action. Uh, this week, we have um, a couple of, of good QBs on bye weeks. Dak Prescott and Lamar Jackson are both... Uh, uh, benched along with their entire teams uh, for week eight. And then we also have um, Patrick Mahomes, who's been a superstar, but um, has an injury to his patella. That's kneecap, for those of you who don't know. So. Yeah, he's rolled out for someday too, so. Yeah, okay, so he's out for at least a week probably closer to three, is that right? Yep. Okay. So who do you recommend that we uh, try to pick up? Well, I would definitely start Russell Wilson. Um, they play the Atlanta Falcons this week, and Atlanta's been giving up huge points, mm -hmm. not, not only to quarterbacks, but to receivers and running backs. So I'd start the whole – Seattle Seahawks roster, if you can. <clears throat> um, and I would probably sit Kyler Murray because they play New Orleans, and New Orleans defense has been lights out. So yeah, probably end up sitting Kyler Murray. Now, on the flip side of that, does that mean Teddy Bridgewater is a start because um, uh, he's playing against the, the Cards? Well, since Matt Ryan hurt his ankle and he's not 100%, we don't know if he's a starter or not. I went and picked up Teddy Bridgewater. Mm -hmm. But now I've come to find out that Drew Brees is back in practice. Now they don't know if they're going to start him or not. So it's probably going to be more of a tomorrow or a game time decision when we find that out. But um, okay, I think it'd be smart to sit Drew Brees since you're playing Arizona and then you have the bye week and then bring him back. But you know Sean Payton. He takes risks. So I, I honestly don't know yet, and I don't think anybody knows yet if Drew Brees is starting or Teddy Bridgewater is starting. But I did pick up Teddy Bridgewater in my league just for a backup. So. Okay. Because if Matt Ryan doesn't play, I'm hoping Teddy Bridgewater does and, and I can start him. Well, uh, you know, uh, Drew Brees is one of those guys that he's not going to sit out unless he absolutely has to. Yeah. Um, he's always been, uh, um, you know, a powerhouse and has almost never been injured. Part of the reason why he has these you know, numbers that rival the best quarterbacks ever, uh, because he's just played consistently with no injuries. So. Now the only my only thing would be if New Orleans was losing all their games. Yeah, bring him back in, make a playoff run. But they went like five and 6 and zero with Teddy Bridgewater, so there's no reason to rush Drew Brees back. So I'm really, right. they, I'm really hoping that they start Teddy Bridgewater one more game. Okay. Yeah, I think that makes a lot of sense. You're right. If uh, if a guy's getting the job done, you don't put him on the bench just because you're, uh, you know, your starters back to eighty percent. Right, exactly. Yeah, if if he's a hundred percent, that's a different story. Exactly, especially with the bye week coming up, you can you can let Drew Brees rest for another two weeks and then make a good playoff push. Like I just don't understand why you would rush him back. But if yeah. he's a hundred percent, like you said, different story. But I don't think he's a hundred percent. So no, I can't imagine. Um. Okay. Any other uh, quarterbacks you think we should start? Yeah, just as long as they don't, they don't. Just as long as you don't start the bye week guys, which is uh, Dak and <laughs> and Lamar. I mean, a lot of other guys are pretty much start unless they have good defense. Unless they're playing good defenses. So. What do you think about uh, Josh Allen up in uh, in Buffalo? They're playing the Eagles. Yeah, the Eagles are weak in their secondary. Yeah, I'd probably start them, man. I'd give them a shot. He hasn't been doing that bad. No, and you know, if he's 
Jenny Pico reached it through a bunch of yards playing the Eagles. I actually picked the Eagles in that game um, because their run defense is very solid, but um, but this is a, a situation where uh, Allen has the opportunity. Yeah. Speaking of uh, running games, um, we have uh, Zeke on the sidelines this week. Uh, Ezekiel Manuel, uh, or <laughs> Ezekiel Elliott. Um, Mark Ingram. And Mark Ingram um, are, are both uh, sidelined for the uh, for the bye week. So who would you bring in as your uh, as a running back? Well, if you have either one of those guys, you probably don't have these other guys. But I would start Todd Gurley and Le'Veon Bell. The reason why is they both are playing not the best teams. Uh, Todd Gurley and the Rams are playing Cincinnati, so he should have a good game. And Le'Veon Bell is playing Jacksonville, and they just haven't – their defense hasn't really shown too much. So I would definitely start them too. And I would probably sit Melvin Gordon. Um, since he came back, he really hasn't showed nothing. I don't think it's going to change much. They play Chicago this week. Um, Austin Eckler, he might be a good, a good start just because he, um, he's been uh, catching out of the backfield. So, uh, but yeah, Melvin. Gordon. Yeah, they may end up. Um with a lot of quick tosses out of the um, the backfield against the Bears. Yeah. And uh, the old screen pass is always handy. Yeah. Two guys I'd probably say if they're still on the waiver wire is Carlos Hyde and uh, and uh, Frank Gore. Now, Dave, Devin Singletary came back and he's, uh, he's their uh, Frank Gore's backup. So Frank Gore might not get to the points like he would if Devin Singletary was out, but he's still a decent pickup. Uh, now they're playing the Eagles, and like you said, they have a good run defense, so if you might not want to start him, but Carlos Hyde's probably a solid start. Yeah. Get, get a couple points. Yeah, I'd say uh, that I'd definitely start Hyde over Gore. Yeah. Not normally, but this particular week. How about wideouts? Speaking of wideouts, they um they interviewed um one of the the wideouts for the chief, and they asked how bad Patrick Mahomes' knee is, and uh, they, he said that it didn't even look like a knee. Uh, so kind of uh, kind of scary there. Yeah, Travis. Yeah. Oh, Travis tells him okay. So, um, so who do you have to, you know, are you, are you as uh, happy with the wideouts on the, the uh, Chiefs since uh, Patrick Mahomes isn't able to throw to them? Um, probably not as happy, but I don't, I don't really think they. I would bench them, man, um, because uh, Tyree Kill and uh, Nicole Harmon. They got the speed where if Moore just throws it up, they're still going to have a decent game. So yeah. he doesn't have the accuracy or the uh, the arm that Patrick Mahomes does, but I don't think that's really that – I don't know. They're just, they're just really good receivers. So I'd probably yeah. still start them. Plus, he may be throwing a lot if they're behind. Exactly. Um, you know, it's one of those that even – even bad quarterbacks get a lot of yards if they have to throw a lot of balls. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, I would sit <clears throat> if Matt Ryan doesn't play. I'd probably think twice about starting Julio Jones or Calvin Ridley because Matt Schaub, Matt Schaub would be the uh, go-to guy if Matt Ryan doesn't come in. And, <laughs> You know, Matt Schaub was a starting quarterback at one point in his career. He is not anymore, and he does not have the talent like he used to. I mean, 
Julio Jones, maybe you could start him just because he's a bailout. Even if you throw it near him, he could still make the catch. But I'd be I'd be I'd be second guessing um starting any one of their any one of Atlanta's receivers or tight ends so. though. Okay. Um I guess the, the the other the other wideouts that, that I have been uh, you know thinking about it is is Gordon Minshew's wideouts um, just because the the uh, Jags have had these glimmers of hope and they may be uh, throwing a lot of uh, a lot of deep balls trying to you know, keep that team uh, in the game. What are your thoughts there? Well, and they're playing the Jets. So yeah. so I could probably see starting a couple of Jacksonville's receivers, yeah. Okay. Any uh, tight ends you're, you're thinking about? Yeah, I was going to say I would probably start um, Gerald Everett. He's the Los Angeles Rams tight end, and they play Cincinnati. So I'd probably start him. And um, now this is just my opinion. You can start him if you if you don't believe in what I say. But Evan Ingram for the Giants, they, okay. they play the Lions. And even though the Lions don't have the record, their their team is really not that bad. They lost some really close games. Yeah. Bad calls called on them a couple of times in, in – tight games so the Lions do have a good defense so I'm kind of wondering if they're going to shut him down or not so I'd probably sit him if possible mm -hmm. but that's just my opinion well, that, that makes no sense what do you think about um about some of the Eagles tight ends now is Deshaun Jackson back yet no, no, no. no. but um you know, uh, Aguilar is looking uh, good and bad. <laughs> Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, I, he's had those moments of, of greatness, and then he's also dropped a few that he should have had. Yeah. Yeah, and Zach Ertz, I mean, he's just a, he's just a good uh, a good tight end. He's yeah. – Six tight ends, so um, I'd probably start him. I'd probably start him, even though Buffalo's defense is pretty good. I'd probably start him, and uh, he's always been a bailout for Carson Wentz. So I think, I think he's a good start, and he's one of the Eagles that hasn't been dropping balls. So yeah, so yeah, I'd probably start him. All right, any thoughts on uh, you know defense or special teams? Those, uh, well, I probably wouldn't. Those Patriots start. just keep powering on. Yeah, they're doing crazy, and I probably wouldn't start Dallas's defense or Baltimore's defense because once again, they both have buys. So, uh, yep. they're gonna keep it. <laughs> all right. Um, sounds good. Any last parting thoughts? No, I just hope uh, a couple of my people are hurt this week, and uh, I'm just hoping that I can get through fantasy with another team. So. What's your record so far? Five and two. Five and two, nice. Yeah, so I'm uh, I'm actually doing doing pretty good. It's just uh, getting down where bye weeks are going to come in, in, in place, and you have to start other people, and I don't have too many good backup quarterbacks. And uh, – and Matt Ryan, if he don't play, then I'm really in a in a bind. So we'll see. The guy I'm playing hopefully isn't very good. So hopefully we can get a win out of it. All right, that's always nice. Maybe uh maybe you'll luck out and he'll forget to to log in and swap out his uh Baltimore and Dallas players. No, I did look and he had one person on a buy and he had one um slot that wasn't even filled but he filled it at the last minute so wow. but um 
he filled it for one of the since since Adam Thielen was out last night, he filled it in with their, uh, their fourth wide receiver, Minnesota's fourth wide receiver, and I only got him four points. So I was just a jerk that uh, I was always in contention in fantasy just because I played in leagues where half the people crapped out halfway through the season and right. stopped swapping their uh, you know, when you got you know three guys on bye weeks and four on injured reserve, your team isn't going to win too much. No. Those are those always the games I should count on. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm hoping we get a win this week, though. All right. Good luck. All right, guys. Peace.